Chris Brown has lived in Tarzana, California since 2015. After living in a modern Hollywood abode and a penthouse, his current $4.3 million smart home is quite the upgrade. His mansion boasts features like 16 security cameras, solar power, a saltwater pool with waterfall, and much more. It's no wonder the singer loves throwing epic parties here. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Chris Brown is a singer, songwriter, dancer, and actor, well loved by fans, and considered one of the most successful R&B artists to date. At the time of this recording, it's said he's amassed an estimated net worth of about $50 million. While Chris can certainly afford to move around, it seems he loves his Tarzana estate enough to stay put. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment. This one checking out where Chris Brown calls home. Be sure to subscribe and ring that bell for notifications because we post brand new videos daily. As always, you can follow me on Instagram to chat and now let's get into this video. In 2015, Chris purchased his current abode for $4.3 million and it's located at the top of a hill in Tarzana, California. Tarzana is located in the San Fernando Valley near Encino and fun fact, it's actually named after the jungle character Tarzan. Chris's contemporary and gated estate offers top of the line privacy and set aside from the secluded location, the 16 security cameras and state of the art alarm system both help make that happen. The mansion spans 8,300 square feet of space with six beds and six baths throughout. Not to mention, it's reportedly a green home and a smart house. The estate encompasses nearly an acre of land, also boasting solar power. Chris's home not only has an oversized garage with parking for three cars, the sprawling motor court is able to fit 10 more, and being the car lover he is, it's clear this feature was a selling point for the singer. While the house may be simple looking from the exterior, walking in you're greeted with a dramatic double height foyer and spacious common rooms. There's a grand staircase leading to most of the bedrooms upstairs, while there are glass walls throughout the home for a sleek look. The glass walls also come in handy considering Chris's property boasts amazing panoramic views of the city lights and mountains, so you can totally soak up the surroundings from indoors or out. Chris's home has spacious living and dining rooms while luxury finishes include stone and hardwood flooring throughout. There are mahogany wood doors and plenty of balconies off of the abode to enjoy the views. The gourmet kitchen offers a breakfast nook, stainless steel appliances, central island with bar style seating and another laid back table to eat at. The living rooms and dens have a clean design with flat screen TVs while one with a retractable glass wall has a built in fireplace and leads out to the patio. Some of the awesome features include a soundproof home theater that looks dark and cozy with a 120 inch screen and 14 reclining seats. There's a first floor bedroom suite while the upper level of Chris's house has five more bedrooms with en suites. Also upstairs, there's an open concept office or family room. Of course, Chris's master suite is the nicest of them all, overlooking the entire valley through walls of glass. It has a luxury ensuite bath, fireplace, private balcony, and of course, custom walk-in closets. You already know the spacious closets are perfect for his shoe collection. We can see that Chris has customized the home since moving in with personal touches such as his beloved graffiti art. I don't know what's better at Chris's abode, the interior or the exterior, because the yard is full of luxury amenities. The backyard offers a ton of space to entertain and lounge, including an outdoor living room with a full kitchen and three inviting fire pits. The saltwater swimming pool also has a center Baja shelf, spa, waterfall, and glass pebbles. Say what you will, but Chris is notorious for throwing wild parties. It seems that his most recent bash was earlier this year, or one that was big enough to be publicized at least. That massive motor court and expansive entertainer's backyard must have come in handy when Chris throws parties like this because the one in May 2021 had a rumored 300 to 500 cars parked at the estate and nearby. I wonder if Chris has pulled these wild get togethers throughout the pandemic too. While Chris clearly loves his current Tarzana mansion, he had some other pads before it as you might expect one of which was famed for the graffiti artwork he embellished the exterior with, and neighbors, well, they weren't too pleased. 
Back in 2014, Chris sold his former home in the Hollywood Hills for $1.69 million and it was situated hard up on the street with barely any privacy compared to his current situation. I'm not usually a fan of super contemporary homes, but I got to admit this one, well, it was pretty cool. I'd almost say I prefer it better than Chris's current mansion. Property records show that the entertainer snagged the multi-level hillside residence in the foothills above Hollywood for $1.5 million in 2011. Considering the nearly 3,000 square foot home has over four stories, there's also an elevator to get around seamlessly. The home boasted three beds, three baths, soaring ceilings, and sunny interior spaces throughout. Of course, like any good modern home, there were also glass walls to get the most of the city light views. Decked out in concrete, glass, and steel, Chris's former abode was designed by architect Jay Vanos and customized to suit the then young star's taste. While the exterior graffiti was repainted before Chris listed the home, several interior walls in the home were decorated with cartoon-like characters. The high-tech house boasted ultra-modern furnishings, an LED lighting system, and a top-of-the-line Italian kitchen. Not to mention there were bonuses like an art studio and a loft. The main living room here was attached to the kitchen and there were double height ceilings with full walls of glass looking right into the hills, as well as a built-in marble fireplace and flat screen TV. The open concept master suite on the top floor was definitely unique, featuring a red standalone tub and a glass shower in full view of the bed. Privacy here was definitely not an option. At least the shower offered massage features though. Chris's Hollywood pad also had awesome outdoor living spaces, including a couple of fire pits, a projection screen for movie nights and stone waterfalls. If that's not enough, the saltwater pool and spa were illuminated by colored LED lights. Even before Chris's graffiti-clad mansion, he lived in a penthouse in West Hollywood, which he got rid of in 2012 after only a year living there. He sold it in an off-market deal for $1.6 million, the same price he purchased it, reportedly because it wasn't a good place to party and neighbors were more on the reserved side, it seems. During Chris's short time at the 3,000 square foot residence, neighbors also said he played loud music and raced dogs in the hallways, which sounds a little strange. <laughs> Anyways, the penthouse condo occupied the top floor of the building, offering three bedrooms and four baths throughout, along with bamboo floors and high ceilings. The large kitchen-dining room combo allowed Chris to chat with guests while cooking, and the kitchen also had Caesar stone countertops and stainless appliances. The three bedrooms were spacious and had cream-colored walls, each with their own ensuite. Elsewhere, there was a bar and a small office. The condo opened out to a spacious terrace overlooking the streets of West Hollywood and city views. Chris was right in the heart of trendy West Hollywood neighborhood when he lived here, and only a short jaunt from Sunset and Santa Monica Boulevard. While the penthouse was spacious and luxurious, his homes to follow were definite upgrades. All right, now we've checked out the homes of Chris Brown, including his current Tarzana mansion. Since he's been there since 2015, it looks like he's staying put, or at least for now. What do you guys think of Chris's current residence, yay or nay? I mean, the current mansion and property itself is much larger than his former house, but I don't know, I kind of like the look of the Hollywood one better. Even the revealing bathroom setup with the red tub was kind of cool, wasn't it? Be sure to let me know which of Chris's homes you preferred down in the comment section, because I love hearing from you guys. My name is Kara, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.